Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at Cafe Rides in Kochi in Kerala. Uh, just getting all the bikes ready behind me. So this is day one of my tour of Kerala in 2023. Uh, today we're going to ride from Kochi up to Atharapali and maybe see the waterfalls. Uh, yeah, it's going to be the first experience riding out of the city uh, in busy traffic, which I think everyone is maybe looking forward to, uh, certainly after the last few days of uh, being passengers in rickshaws and taxis and buses. Uh, we've seen a little bit of what we're going to expect, but it's definitely going to be a, an interesting time. I'm going to be riding a Royal Enfield Himalayan. Um, I've been allocated my bike. It actually looks pretty good, look pretty new. So I'll go and give you a quick look about that and then we'll crack on. This is my bike. Uh, we drew uh, bits of paper out of a hat to decide who was going to be riding what and I'm riding Himalayan H1. Uh, it's just the sticker they put on the front of it. So yeah, I think it's a fairly new bike. I mean, it's certainly been out a little bit because it's a bit of war, uh, wear on the tires. But other than that, it's got decent sort of side racks, lots and lots of crash bars, which you've already seen a little bit of action. Uh, the other standard upper crash bars. And yeah, all in all, that bike looks like it's in pretty good condition uh, along with everyone else's. So yeah, all the, all the solo riders like me are on Himalayans. That's uh, Mr. Fish, who's a, uh, uh, yeah, um, and then other Himalayans, all the solar riders, then all of the, the pillions are on uh, bullet 500s and classic 500s. And yeah, I think everyone's just getting really, really excited and getting ready to go. Uh, so that's it. That's a quick look around the bikes and I think we'll be setting off in a sec. So uh, yeah, let's go. Right then, so here we go. Getting ready to, uh, uh, to head off. Bikes in neutral, starting up. Oh, the, the thermometer says 31 degrees. So uh, yeah, let's see how this, uh, this gear works in these conditions. Right then, we're off and out into traffic. And we're off. So this should be uh, an interesting experience. I think my first, first go at riding through um, uh, traffic, city traffic in India. Uh, I can just see a few of the other guys ahead of me down there. I think I still need to tweak my mirrors a little bit, but um, yeah, if in doubt, toot I believe is the rule. So this first bit, we've just got to get 18 bikes out of the rental place and onto the road, so I think we're just going to be taking it quite easy for a while. Probably for much of the first day, especially when you get rickshaws doing things like that. And then like delivery trucks just pulling out into the into and amongst us. So that's it really, we're nearly out of the, the city, or at least it certainly feels like we're out of the worst of the traffic. Uh, one thing I have noticed is that my right hand on my front brake lever is actually pivoted up a little bit too high. And what that means is my right mirror is actually looking too much down at the ground and I can't quite adjust it. So I think at the first stop, that'll be the thing that I tweak. But otherwise, bike is running really well. And I think we're all still together. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell. Everything's just at really low speed. So even though it all looks a bit chaotic, and there's people coming in from all angles, ladies in saris, bikes like that, just zipping through. It doesn't feel as fraught as perhaps it looks. Certainly when I've done this before in the back of a rickshaw or something, it always felt a little bit um, close. But actually, even with like trucks like that, ladies like this, um, and the rickshaws and the cars and the buses, everything just seems to work relatively smoothly. Uh, at all, who's their guide, he kind of described it as a bit like uh, water two lots of water sort of two streams just sort of merging and everything just everything just works so uh, let's see uh, let's see how this goes you've got bikes like this uh, little scooter in front of me you don't get as many delivery vehicles on the road well not like big ones it's amazing what you can put on a 125 now to do a bit of highway riding so it's actually quite nice to get the breeze the bike says it's 41 celsius i don't know what that is in fahrenheit 105 something like that maybe certainly feels very warm uh, but so far this Knox action shirt seems to be fairly cool and actually this Scorpion uh, XO helmet with just the internal sun visor and the peak on it seems to be working really well and I'm not actually too hot I thought that might be one of the problems on this trip so still running out of Kochi uh, clearly it's a bit bigger than than I thought we had a short stretch of um, three lanes each side uh, which is nice and quiet and then it's a uh, yeah, nice and busy again. The roads are definitely getting bigger though. Kochi itself is just a lot of islands. I'm never quite sure if these are rivers or lakes. So what we appear to have here is that the city just goes on forever. We've been uh, riding for a while now, maybe 20, 30 kilometers, something like that. And it's just been built up all the way through. I mean, one thing I would say is that the, um, the roads are very, uh, very smooth. 
uh, very smooth indeed. You know, we've not had any potholes to deal with. I'm sure they're around, but compared to the Himalayan trip that I did where it was pretty much all potholes, uh, it's been fairly, fairly quiet. Now I just turned off the, the main road, so it looks like finally we're getting out into some countryside after riding through an awful lot of uh, Kochi and all the towns to the north. Not sure how far we've gone, maybe 40 kilometers, something like that. Uh, so yeah, now we've got this sort of, sort of lush green palm trees, banana trees, and the road surface is still surprisingly good. Every now and again there's a little bit of a crease where you can see there's been a repair, and the guys on the, the bullets, especially riding two up, have a bit of a bump. But the Himalayan is just doing really well. I think it's very much uh, the ideal bike, especially for me. The temperature gauge on the bike now says 44 degrees. I don't think it's actually 44 degrees, but wherever the sensor is, that's what it's reading. That might be just because it's got the sun on it. I think it's sort of mid 30s, something like that. But yeah, it's a glorious day to be out riding a motorcycle. And there's the Hulk with a helicopter. Been riding for a while through some little villages in sort of palm trees, bananas, banana plants, plant trees, bushes, whatever. And uh, now the road has just suddenly started going up. Now, Atherapoli, where we're stopping tonight, isn't actually in the Western Ghats. I think it's a couple of hundred metres above sea level, uh, but it's not in the mountains themselves. So I, I guess we must be getting close-ish if the road is finally starting to climb. Most of Kerala's coastline is flat. There's a little bit down near Varkala, which, we, which we'll get to later on in the trip. Uh, which isn't, which actually has cliffs, but the rest of it is just sort of a big flat area by the sea. And I guess that's the easy area to build houses on and build buildings, which is why it's also built up. But now up in here, I don't know if you can get a glimpse of the trees just over there. Um, it's certainly looking a little bit more interesting from a riding perspective. And this road surface is just perfect. You know, it's um, all the, a few of the bends are just nicely cambered, including this one that's coming up. You have these speed bumps, I suppose, in case people get a little bit enthusiastic. But there's a place just to cruise. We've got the shade of the trees. Yeah, it's uh, it's glorious. Oh, even a sharp bend. Look at that. First one of those for a while. I'm sure it's the first of many. The only problem when I get to roads like this is maybe I wish I was on something with a with a little bit more power. But you know what? I think for all the riding we're doing here. Uh, this little Himalayan will absolutely do the job with its, I think, 24 horsepower, something like that. I know it doesn't sound a lot for a lot of countries, but for over here, where nearly everything happens at a very comfortable pace, and you get unmarked things like a digger in the middle of the road with a truck that's next to it. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all good fun. So that's it, that's the end of, end of day one. We're here at Atherapoli. Uh, just parked all the bikes up. Uh, the van's just arrived. We're in this amazing place. Uh, it's got a sort of bamboo all around. And uh, yeah, I think everyone's just had a really nice ride up from the coast. It's really, really top day one. About 70 kilometers, Kochi to Atherapoli. I uh, hope that's been interesting and useful. And if it has, maybe I'll see you next time. Uh, more riding to come tomorrow. Cheers. So I thought I'd finish the video, but actually uh, we got in, this is the Green Trees Resort uh, here near, in Atherapoli, and it's absolutely divine. If you just look behind me, um, there's got these swimming pools and uh, yeah, just walking up even from the bikes, I thought, wow, okay, am I ready to just leap into that? Um, I think we're gonna pay a visit to the Atherapoli waterfalls. So unfortunately, I think I might have to leave it at least for a couple of minutes. I know most people come here for the motorbike videos, not for the travel, uh, but for those of you who are interested, I'm now at Atherapoli Falls, which is where we stayed on the first night of the Kerala tour. So I'm just gonna have a wander down and um, show you what the falls look like from the bottom. I won't put this in the main video, I'll just stick it in after the credits. And uh, yeah, if anyone's that bothered, you can stay on for it. It does look kind of cool though. I'll go down and show you the big bit. To get there involves going down this fairly rocky path. It's a bit like being back at home in the Peak District, except there's a few more monkeys in the trees here than I get at home. So now I'm down at the bottom of the falls. Uh, there's a lot of people milling around. There's some wedding photos going on over there. And if you come up here, you can actually get a look. There's these 25 meter cliffs. And bear in mind, this is the dry season. There's a huge amount of water just pouring over. I can't imagine what it must be like in the wet season. It must be all the way along. And that's not even the bigger bit. If you come around here and take a look at that, I mean, it really is impressive. I can't actually get any closer than this because this is just where the, uh, where the ropes end, but it's a really stunningly beautiful place. So that's it, that's the end of my video from day one of the AB Original Kerala, uh, the Coconut Roots Tour of January 2023. 
Uh, there'll be more to come tomorrow from day two, which is where we ride from here at Atherapoli up to Palachi, which is, I think, now getting into the mountains a little bit more. You can just about see some of them behind me. So there's some proper twisties, some proper awesome biking roads, even just coming up to the height of here. It's been pretty spectacular. Uh, road surface has been great, seen hardly any trucks. Just been a really, really fun day. Uh, looking forward, more to come tomorrow. If this has been interesting and useful, please check out my other content and maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. And just on my wander back up from the falls, did come across all these fellas. And I don't think you can do a video from India without having at least a few monkeys in. Not sure when I'm gonna get this close to them again, but yeah, these guys are just hanging out, watching the tourists at the end of the day. Wonder if I could get them to do the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil.